Pragyas saying, I see that animals are stepping up towards their evolution easily than humans. We have created this superficial society or extra fake burden on us. We feel liberty, but actually are going back. Okay, she thinks, difficult to leave that bondage is how to leave. It's very easy. Come on the path of knowledge, which you are already. The knowledge breaks all the bondage. You already know that the society is superficial and there is burden and all. How do you know all these things? Because you are on the path of knowledge. We teach you all these things. The society will teach you ignorance. They will try to keep you ignorant for whatever reasons you see. There can be many reasons. Either stupidity or survival, struggle for existence. Taking the survival advantage by keeping everybody else ignorant and so on. Your own leaders are going to fool you most. And anybody who is trying to sell knowledge is already trying to make you ignorant. So yes, we have this extra burden which animals don't need to face. They are naturally ignorant or we say they are innocent. And they are going smoothly. Are we really going back? No, actually, no. You will go back only if you don't learn from your experiences. You have failed for many lifetimes that you have got involved in the society. You have assumed whatever they say is true. You have been indoctrinated many times, enslaved. You see, the physical slavery is not so bad. Mental slavery can last for thousands of years. It, it gets imprisoned in the causal body. There are people who like to do this kind of thing. They try to enslave people. So only the power, only knowledge is the way out. If you don't learn from all these things, you will remain there. So that is why uh, an animal does not need a guru. <laughs> I've never seen. But uh, humans always need a guru. There is no exception. Why? Because the guru is the one who has freed himself. Now he's trying to free others. Otherwise, the society will never let you out of the bondage. Whatever we call civilization is actually worse than animal herds. At least the animals are not trying to push everybody else in ignorance. They are trying to survive, it's natural. Humans know they will do everything possible to retard your progress. They will make you as retarded as they are. There is power in numbers. And you will also think, oh, everybody feel, uh, says like this, everybody knows like this, everybody says this is true and that is not, I should behave like this because people are telling me to behave like this and so on. You will be kind of enchanted, you will be charmed by the society, hypnotized by the society and you will never question it. Who comes in your life <laughs> to give you the bitter pill, the red pill? Guru, and you will not hear the words of the Guru also, you see. There are many people, they don't want to hear the truth. They will take the blue pill. Excellent metaphor, isn't it? Pills, it is like the medicine, you see. We say the knowledge is the medicine. And that is then pictured nicely in that movie. Medicine. Don't want the medicine. So those who go in the shelter, those who take the shelter, refuge under a Guru, they have some hope, others don't. This is the importance of having a guru. Without the guru, <laughs> you are a part of the society. You are a part of the darkness and you are spreading darkness and you are living darkness. So, pragya is... It is very difficult to leave the bondages, yes. Only guru. And how to get the guru? I said, the, the humans don't want it. Only their... An ending suffering brings them, them to Guru. And the Guru is sitting there lying. White lies that I'll cure your suffering. Come to me. That is how they, <laughs> they accept anybody at all, you see. Otherwise, they will never accept a Guru. So they come to the Guru in the hope that the suffering will be gone. Otherwise, they will never listen to anybody. Any, any truth is hopelessly trapped. But those who do, because the suffering is a natural mechanism of evolution, <laughs> as you know, I, I call it the path of suffering. <laughs> if you are trapped in the society, you are on the path of suffering. Now suffering will bring you out of this trap. And the presence of Guru simply makes it easy and fast. How to leave? Go to the Guru. Don't leave the Guru. <laughs>
because as soon as you leave the path of knowledge or your guru you will be taken back in the society you will be dragged back in the society and the next life yes everything is memories wiped out back to the square one then you will cry and say better to be an animal animals are more happy yes they are we don't want them to be happy also we kill them in masses we hunt them down <laughs> we breed them unnaturally we leash them we tie them up we put them in bowls you know, your fish bowl so humans do all this uh, idiotic things and uh, they, they think it is nice it is good i am being a human but uh, you see the hopeless condition actually only the guru knows and the guru will show you that is why when you get the knowledge the first thing you see is a disgust towards society you leave it detachment from the social society social things do you take part in the republic day <laughs> no <laughs> totally fake arrangement to keep you patriotic and get your money and send you to the border to get killed by enemies that is republic day isn't it now nobody is going to like my reply so i don't actually say these things a lot do you celebrate the diwali do you celebrate no total fakeness will you marry somebody no <laughs> social ritual trap so you start becoming somebody that is called anti social by the social people or a social then you will be sent to you know the clinic the psychiatrist and all not behaving properly not not as dark and bad as me so must something must be wrong it does not talk stupidity like me he has got the disease of intelligence <laughs> i have seen this thing you see the idiots the stupid people hate intelligent people and most of them are stupid so there is no respect for intelligent people actually only the, an intelligent person respects another intelligent person the stupid is afraid of intelligent person they will you will be killed if you say something nice and true you will be tortured this is the real war there is no other war going on in this society this the war is between stupidity and intelligence stupidity wins <laughs> intelligence leaves we are not here to win we are here to leave the this pit of darkness you leave it as soon as possible you cannot fix it you see to leave means to leave completely leave the human form the goal of human birth is to get rid of the human birth get out of here never come back so yes i painted a very dark picture it is not so bad don't worry about it see just live your life peacefully everybody will leave you alone and then pursue your path of knowledge it is intellectual invisible totally secret even your father mother husband wife won't come to know that you know something isn't it that is the advantage we have what about the other paths they need to do the yoga they need to worship something they need to chant this thing or that thing now people are going to cut your throat you are insulting my religion they will say you are my wife you need to follow that which i follow otherwise you will be sacrificed so path of knowledge very secret yeah no, nobody knows that you know don't worry you will be gone secretly nobody will come to know the only mistake you can do is tell others that you know something don't don't tell them you and your guru secret relation you see <laughs> behind the curtains relation what do you call them a discreet relation no spy should be able to find out the relation between you and your guru completely confidential and you will get out of this pit of darkness smoothly without any obstacles Rajit is saying easy to keep a fake face in this path very nice yeah you realized it <laughs> you need to act in the society by which i mean acting pretend put on the mask no persona means what a mask isn't it you are hiding your true self the person is hiding the true self that's why that's why it was called a person persona you need to just act like a person ordinary person why do you take up the all, all kinds of troubles by trying to educate your wife and your child and your mother <laughs> no and those who try to educate their leaders or military people yes they will lose their head very quickly 
don't don't try to educate masses they don't want education that is why we are very secretive have you seen nobody has the real name here nobody has any phone number or address the guru is totally fake <laughs> nobody knows who is the guru nobody has seen his face everything that i say in public is all lies false everything that i do in the world is totally false acting only and you are encouraged to do all that also if you don't change your name i'll come and change your name if you don't come out of the society i'll drag you out of the society you know there is nothing wrong in the society if it is not troubling you stay there but i have seen people at ha- suffering in different kinds of relations in different kind of bonds and they complain to me and then when i say okay come out of <laughs> come to me i am taking you out of here no 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 just fix the society guru ji fix my relations fix my family no 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 i don't do all these things i destroy everything simply destroy the bonds so i always break the relations i always make you anti social some people don't like it and they don't come on the path of knowledge and that is very good for me because less people to handle <laughs> there is no crowd here in the satsang you see it's a very peaceful place nothing should be known about you you are doing nothing already so do nothing there just arrange your life so that it is comfortable and disappear you are trying to disappear when we when i say leave the human birth you, see, you should start right now take the small steps stop being that human rise above the human stop doing that which the ordinary humans are doing and you have already taken many steps away from being a human people are trying to acquire people are trying to be selfish people are trying to hold do exactly opposite and you are already many steps away from that darkness so how to act you know that is a good question we call it the selfless way or we call it the non violent way as soon as you do your actions like this you will start getting freedom you will be freed however on the path of knowledge we simply use the knowledge we simply use the intellect and the rest happens automatically sometimes your bonds are so strong that they cannot be broken in this lifetime so what do i tell you make an intention very strong the magical intention you see the occult intention to cut the bonds as soon as possible at least if not in this lifetime make an intention to intention to cut them in the next don't take a birth in the same pile of things which are trapping you which are keeping you bound there is a good birth and there is a bad birth the bad birth means you are not progressed even a little bit good birth is you are still in the society you are still in the bondage but little bit progress has happened and it can be you know it starts from the physical layer actually good body financial independence and then it goes to the subtle bodies the emotional the intellectual these freedoms they come later you know you are dependent on the society for the survival and the, the lower layers are trapped we don't worry about it as as long as the higher layers are freed because the lower layers are already becoming dirt they are going to be dirt so we don't worry too much but the higher you need to disconnect immediately and no nobody will come to know don't worry about it the effects will be seen sometimes the effects will be seen you will need to manage it somehow hmm varun is asking how is experience sir self evident now the meaning of the self evident is that we need not bring an experience of any kind we need not bring any kind of evidence to prove it is there now which experience will tell you that the experience is there to prove its existence so as soon as you say that look uh, the experience is not there it is not present what what is the result of this statement that this statement is perceived it is experienced there is intellect saying this there is a person saying this a human body and look a lot of experiences are already there and the experience is taking up all the experiences it simply denying the experiencer proves its existence because then who witnessed the denial we say it like this how is it self evident because no evidence will actually establish it the evidence is 
seen in the light of the experiencer isn't it the evidence needs to be independent of uh, that which is it is proving this is the rule of logic now <laughs> the evidence itself requires an experiencer do you see the problem here the evidence needs to be experienced and that proves the experiencer you see you don't need to even look at the evidence oh look at this evidence i have i am looking yeah it's the evidence of the experience i know it already i am looking at it <laughs> self evident when you don't need an evidence that thing is self evident and the experiencer is one such there is there are two more things the existence needs no evidence and the experience needs no evidence what needs evidence is all the fake things i was born in this family that needs evidence you see i was this in the past life show me the evidence all these fake things they need evidence and the evidence is also fake you know it very well by now especially those who are doing the experiments of the <laughs> dream state and projected state they will know that evidence of anything at all can be simply created on the spot when you are in the dream the whole city is present your whole life is already present your relatives and friends are present do you ask for an evidence of that when you are in the dream while i was sleeping how did all this uh, all the whole city is here sun moon stars <laughs> whole universe is here all my relatives and mother and father everybody is here you see the evidence if even if you ask the evidence of it you know how did you appear here you ask your relative in the dream and he will say don't you remember me we are related like this and that and i used to come to your house and so on you see oh yes 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 your dream body will say like this and now i remember you thank you for producing the evidence now your dream body will say i don't remember when i was born can somebody tell me and your mother will come with the birth certificate in the dream look evidence of your birth look this photos pretty pictures when you were tiny baby this is happening in the dream don't forget any evidence can be produced there and you will believe it totally now look at your current experience in the waking state same thing is happening what is the value of evidence here for a seeker especially on the path of knowledge zero only that which is self evident matters that is most important whatever garbage you are trying to get evidence of is actually garbage the evidence is also garbage so when people ask me <laughs> all these questions you say what do gods do in heaven and why did the hanuman kill the sugriv whatever you know who knows who knows and i can only laugh you see because the play is so entertaining here that the players themselves have forgotten that they are playing look the illusion can produce any evidence you want now those who are trying to get the evidence of the paranormal or whatever they should listen to this thing your whole life is waste those who are trying to get the evidence of these things experiences whether extraordinary or ordinary does not matter you see if you want an evidence and if the mother nature is in a good mood that day she will give you anything any fake thing can be proven now if you see if your mind is blown i'll ask you a question you know there is a possibility of one kind of evidence actually one kind of evidence is very useful even in the case of illusion what is that what can be known with full certainty using an evidence can somebody tell me if they are on the step 2 they will get a bonus mark one number one bonus one mark bonus if you are on the step 2 and say this tell this thing it's like a play now <laughs> it is our play you see without that our path of knowledge will disappear it is so important sweet is saying evidence that oh, i am the existence that is self evident you see we are talking about some kind of evidence which is not self evident still it is of some importance we have discussed it i am going to give you the hint of that day when we are discussing i'll try to remind you we are talking about richard finman and how he explained how the science works sweet is saying evidence of ignorance very good answer 
you are reaching closer yes evidence that i am ignorant there will be always be ignorance kaniga says physical laws no 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 they can change any time you see pragya is saying we are finding evidence of experiences there is no evidence of experience there no we cannot say there is no evidence of experience here we always say it is self evident it does not require an evidence you can add a word there is no requirement of evidence for the experience here it is it cannot be proven false the experience here is self evident cannot be proven false the pragya is you know yes we are always trying to find evidence of experiences sometimes and we find it sometimes what i'm claiming is it is always meaningless because there you can find anything in the illusion is like in the dream so i'll answer it you see the negative is always proven certainly the positive is never proven if you find a positive evidence for something nothing can be said about it surely there will always remain a doubt but the negatives that that is certain <laughs> you can find evidence that i am not a body you will find that evidence who am i It cannot be found yeah that's why negative knowledge is the backbone of the path of knowledge evidence is of no importance however the negative evidence falsification is important science and philosophy and on the path of knowledge falsification is important claim is totally garbage if you claim something nobody will pay attention to it however if you falsify something you get phd you get nobel prize you will get everything you you will a new upanishad will be named after you that is your will be your achievement 